Are following breaking news at this hour in Butts County after several students ate treats at school and then got sick. Authorities now say evidence confirms those treats are not infused with drugs. It happened at Henderson Middle School. CBS 46 just got on, over to the school and we've got a reporter now joining us live to talk about this. Who is on the scene at this? But well, Beth Yates, I believe. Thank you, Bobeth. Yes, Karen, I'm right in front of the Henderson uh, Middle School and just a few moments ago we saw an emergency vehicle uh, ambulance leaving the scene. This entire area was actually packed with sheriff's deputies, cars, fire crews and all of those as the sheriff department investigated. Now what we're being told by investigators that a fruity pebble type substance, hard candy, and we have a picture of that candy and we'll put that up right now. That this is the picture of the fruity pebbles type candy that officials say several students ingested. Now sheriff officials conducted a search warrant in reference to this candy that was distributed at the school and the test has confirmed that no narcotics or THC was contaminated. Officials believe the candy was picked up at a local food bank in Hampton, Georgia. Now that candy could possibly be contaminated during the process of transporting being transported to the school, but officials are trying to figure out exactly what led up to these children getting sick. Now we did speak to a parent off camera. That parent said they were rushing from the school to the hospital where their child was transported. They did not mention the condition of their child, but we know that several children right now are still in the hospital because of the illnesses that came about after ingesting this hard fruity pebble type candy. Again, officials say no students did anything wrong. They don't believe this was malicious, but they do believe that some sort of contamination happened to this candy that was distributed during the school and that they picked up from a local food bank. And we'll continue to be here and bring you more updates about this entire ordeal as we get that. Live in Butts County, Bobeth Yates, CBS 46 News.